My sister Rebecca with RebeccasRoadmap.com and it is that time of week when I do my weekly action plan. So before we get started, I just wanted to share my pretties with you guys. Now Mother's Day is coming up and I bought some cards for my people. I just want to share and remind you to please buy your people a Mother's Day card or you can make a Mother's Day card for your favorite mom and in fact I'll link a video down below that Deidre did she made her mother-in-law this really cute Mother's Day card so if you're of the crafty bent and you want to make a Mother's Day card leave that I'll leave that link down below you can check that out okay now to my mother who usually watches my videos if you don't want to know which card is yours or what it says then don't watch the video. Now if you want to know why I picked out your card, then keep watching. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'll start with this one for my aunt. My aunt Sheila is a wonderful mom. She's one of the best moms that I know. And she always did everything and still does everything for her children that she can do. And she just had knee replacement surgery and is recovering. But I got this card for her just because I thought it was cute and she needed an extra card. It says, for my aunt, thanks for being the kind of person who makes a difference in my world. Happy Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to my Aunt Sheila. She's wonderful. And I got this one for my grandma because I don't know if she's going to get Mother's Day cards and I thought that she needed an extra one. And I haven't talked to her in a little bit, so I thought I would surprise her with a card. It says, with love to you on Mother's Day. So Mother's Day, a time for warm thoughts and fond memories. We have lots of memories. <laughs> for expressing the feelings and words that often get unspoken, because I'm terrible about calling people. For letting those special people in our lives know that they are loved and appreciated always, which I really appreciate my grandma. Her name is Mama Jean, and that's how everybody knows her, and she's an awesome grandma. That somehow we always say the least to those we love the best and hope our thoughts are understood. Although they're unexpressed, that's why it means so very much when days like this are here to say how very much you're loved each day throughout the year. Happy Mother's Day. So Mama Jean, you are a fine example of what a woman should be and I really appreciate you and Happy Mother's Day. And this is for my wonderful mother-in-law and I got this quite frankly because it's pink and sparkly and that reminds me of her she's pink and sparkly and uh, I thought my husband would appreciate this too it says uh, for a wonderful mom to tell you let me try that again to tell you that you're loved much more than words can ever say and don't forget that's always mom not just on Mother's Day wishing you happiness always all right, mom, it's your turn. <clears throat> now, your card isn't flashy. I had a flashy one for you, but I liked the message in this one better, so that's why it's not flashy. It says, with all my love, mom, when I was little, I used to think that your whole reason to be on this planet was to be my mom. <laughs> I think most little kids think that. But yeah, I, I just, my mom was always there. I just, whenever I call her, she's there. She's still there. You know, if I need to go make a midnight run somewhere, then my mom's the one that, you know, would <laughs> do that with me. <laughs> so it's only in looking back that I realize how much love, time, patience, and hard work it takes to be the kind of mom that makes a kid feel that way. The kind of mom you were to me and still are. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. So mom, that's why I got that card for you because I thought it was very fitting and you have done a wonderful job and been a wonderful example and role model of what a mom should be. Unfortunately, I'm not living up to <laughs> my aunt and my grandma and my mom, but I have some years to go. So I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> okay, so that, that was my pretty part. And let me tell you what's been going on. So I didn't do a, an action play with me last week because quite frankly, I was stuck and I was tired. I just finished Veda and it, 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 it was rough and I was worn out and I knew that the schedule I had 
before VEDA wasn't working. There were things that weren't getting done that I wanted to get done and I just needed to take a step back and regroup and figure out how to go forward. So I got this um, a couple of weeks ago, I guess now, and I have been working through it. And I just did a video on reverse engineering your week where I talk about, if I can find the page, There we go. I just did a video about reverse engineering your week where I talk about this, which is your 24 hour clock. And this is color coded, <clears throat> this is color coded to the different things in my life. Sleep, my job, working on my business, family time, and meditation and journaling. So these pink squares or pies, triangles, are the only ones that I have to work on my business on a typical week night. So I go into more detail and I'll link that video down below if you guys want to see it. But uh, I highly recommend this book. It's wonderful information and it has definitely helped me. I said in a previous video, I'm, I got my post-it note here so I don't mispronounce or misspeak, <laughs> that I really would like to kind of theme my days and I couldn't think of what to call that. So I know like growing up, my mom's always like, well, I had a wash day and a baking day and an ironing day, what have you. So I didn't know what to call those. Miss Christina Davis was kind enough to comment on the video that I put up and she says she calls them weekly task routines. I thought that was pretty fitting. I like that. So I'm going to link Christina's channel down below if you guys want to check her out. She does some wonderful planning videos and has lots of tips and tricks and stuff that I don't know about. So you might give her channel a shot and you might learn something. So <clears throat> kind of moving forward, let me kind of tell you what I accomplished last week. And I was kind of working on this a bit this morning because I, I, I just kind of failed, <laughs> failed last week. Well, I shouldn't say I failed last week. Um, oh, this isn't even last week. This is the, the, almost the end of VEDA. This was right through the 29th of April. So I did get everything done there that I need to get done. So this is the current week and we are here and this is my last video that I need to film. And I need to write a blog post and I need to grocery shop. So <clears throat> what ended up happening this week is I had a whole bunch of videos made that I hadn't managed to get uploaded to this channel. So I, I was kind of just editing and uploading videos through the second and then I was getting to do some more videos because I actually have, I think, a couple, two, three more that I need to edit and upload. But Thursday, I was like, I've got to have a plan. I've got to have a plan for this coming week. So I sat down with my Your Best Year workbook and started working through that. I'm not done, but I think I have a working plan to move forward. I'm going to try this out for the month of May and see if it works for me. So that's what I did Thursday and Friday night. And then I've kind of, what do you call that? Hit the ground running. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good term, but I kind of hit the ground running today with a kind of new plan forward. So I'm hoping that's going to work out for me. See, I said, get, get a new plan with the whole puppy dog here. So I did finish beta. I exercised, I did my weigh in, which my weight hasn't moved. I don't know what's going on with my weight. And I worked on my workbook. I called my doctor and I need to still pay this doctor bill. So I need to move that over to this coming week, which I didn't decorate for some reason. 
let me move this for a second, but I do need to refer to it. I guess that would be an errand and not something I need to call. Okay, so that was this last week and I don't even have my goals or anything written down for May. I, I was just kind of stuck. I did come through and write down all of my birthdays. I've got several birthdays and I did buy my Mother's Day card so that's done. Let's see. My daughter's coming home. She just moved into her new apartment. She sent me pictures. It's so pretty. She's going to have a wonderful time there. Oh, anyway, yeah, back to the planning. All right, let me look at my goals and see what I need to do. And then I'm going to look at this next week and kind of do more weekly tasks, like one for each day of the week here and then more than one on the weekends. I think I put events there. I should have put some over here in celebrations, but we're just going to go with that. And I actually had a project plan here. I have another video that I need to edit that talks about this project that I was like all gung-ho going forward. And then after going through your best year, I kind of figured out that that's not what I need to work on next. So I put white out on it and I'm going to use some of my um, doodle monster stickers to kind of cover that up and make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to refer back to my April goals and let's see. Actually I need to, re I need to refer to <laughs> I need a couple of references here. Let me, hang on, I got my sticky notes here. Let me put a page flag so I can return back to that page easily. Okay. Sorry, this is a new system and a new plan. It, it, it's in the works. Okay, so I wrote out what I want to do every day here. So now I can kind of count them up and look at the, how many weeks we have. And so we are here on Saturday. So I guess I can count this week, but just not for blog posts because I did put videos up this week. So I want to do one, two, three, four four videos per week so that's one two three four five so that's 20 videos I need to put a sticker there should have put the sticker there first huh oh well we're just gonna go with that 20 videos so that is gonna be Four for select and free dot me. Is that right? One, one, two. That's not right. One, two, three. Twenty. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Hang on, my math is wrong and I need to white out. Okay, so I'm doing one video a week for my electinfree.me channel. We've got five, five weeks, so that's gonna be five videos there. And then 15 for my Rebecca's Roadmap. Okay. Okay, so I did that, and I did that, and I did that. I did not do that, and I did not do that. So I didn't get any blog posts done, which is what I'm trying to accomplish with this new plan. So 
and that may be overshooting, but I'm going to shoot for what I want and then scale back if I can't tank. So, um, let's see. One, two, three. So I want to go for three blog posts. That's, I'm sorry, guys. That's going to be 15 blog posts for the month. So that's going to be five for electinfree.me, which is once a week. And then 10 for Rebecca's Roadmap. Because I don't need to do a blog post for every video I upload. Like this video, I don't think I need to do a blog post for unless I did like a here's all my planner videos for the month kind of a blog post. So that's that. I did read Marketing Playbook. And I did read Your Best Year, so that's two books that I read. I started reading Youpreneur by Chris Drucker. Um, I'm, I mean, I just like really just started reading it. I've got read the introduction. And I still haven't read The Four Tendencies. Now, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure what's going on with that book because I had it on my to-buy list forever. I finally bought it, and I haven't really read any of it. I started it, but that was it. So I'm not sure what the mental block is with that. But, um, yeah, not, not sure. So my goal for this month is to finish my Your Best Year workbook. We're going to do that because I think that's going to help me the most. So I did not do that. I did my workbook review. Okay. <clears throat> so workbook review and goals report. Those things are really kind of helping me stay on track with my goals being accountable. I'm going to put exercise four times on here because I am accomplishing that, but I need to really do more than that. But I'm going to work on getting my working things down pat first before I do that. Um, quarterly excursion. Did we do anything? I can't even remember. April's was kind of crazy. We did not do anything. Let's see. So, January, February, March, April, May, June. We do have some things planned, so that will happen. For this quarter, so I did work on that. Um, I did my weigh-ins, and I did not do that or that, which is work on my blog, which is one of the big things I'm trying to get done. Oh, and I guess my Aweber bill was due. I need to check and make sure that went through. So, let me make a note here. Make sure that did go through and that we're all good. Okay, and then I need to add my weigh-ins. So I've got my goals here. Let me move my move this here. So we've got my husband and I are supposed to go to a, a wine festival perhaps there. So this is our anniversary. We will have been married for 23 years. And my son is going to turn 21 there on the 23rd. So we've got lots of stuff going on in May. And when Mother's Day is here. 
Um, okay. So this is next week. Okay. I have an idea. I'm going to kind of revamp one of my happy planners and I need to go buy some stickers and some happy planner paper. So a trip to Michael's is on my horizon and I'm sure I have a coupon for that. Okay. Let's look at the to-do list. So I need to do one lectinfree.me video, one lectinfree.me blog post, and let's see, three, three Rebecca's roadmap videos. and two blog posts. Need to work on your best cheer. Oh, I misspelled this right here. I'm just like getting happy with this liner stuff here. Okay, that's not this week, that's not this week. I do need to exercise. And there's nothing I need to do for the quarterly excursion. I need to weigh in. Okay, now Mother's Day is is that Sunday? It is Sunday. Okay, I already bought cards. And it's Zach's stepson's birthday, so I need to buy a present there. So I need to buy Frank a present. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we look at this. So, I want to do one liked and free dot me video and blog post. So, I plan on posting this on Tuesday. So, I'm going to edit and upload. lectinfree.me and on Tuesday when I have a little bit of quiet time usually I need to write lectinfree.me blog post. Now what was happening was I was just saying I need to do these things over here but I wasn't saying when I was going to do them over here so that's that's what I'm working on changing my schedule. Okay so Wednesday, I need to edit and upload lectinfree.me video. No, nope, that's not right. Rebecca's roadmap video, which will probably be this video. And then on Thursday, I need to write a blog post and on Friday I need to edit and upload a video and then on Saturday I need to film I need to shop and I need to write a blog post. And then on Sunday, the only major thing I have to do is edit and upload a video. Which gives me time to work on my current project.
which right now is creating my opt-in for Rebecca's Roadmap, which is going to be how to start your personal journal or how to start a personal journal. So look for that to be up if you guys are interested. Um, not sure when, <laughs> I'll let you know, <laughs> but it's coming, it's in the works. So this, that's those things right there that I was only halfway accomplishing. So hopefully I'm, I'm thinking this will help me accomplish those things that I want to accomplish and give me time to work on a project which I was sadly lacking. We'll see how this schedule goes, see how it works, and um, yeah, I need to decorate my planner for a little bit. So I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna stop the camera for a minute and I'll show you guys what this looks like when I've got it decorated. So be right back. Okay, so here's how my pages ended up. This was the Monster Doodle sticker pack or sticker book, I should say, from Michaels. So that is my month of May. And then, oh, by the way, I got these little stickers at Target. And then I used the llama pack from Michaels for this week. I think it needs a little more color or something, don't you guys think? I need to work on bringing some more color into this. Okay, I had to take a phone call from my husband. He wouldn't know if it's okay to come home if I was touching videos. I told him I needed five minutes. Okay, anyway, so this is how my llama page turned out. I think it needs a bit more color. I'm gonna work on seeing how to add some color to these weekly layouts because I think that would make me happier. But I really, I really love the flowers on this llama. That's my favorite one. This is what I will be doing for this next week. And I hope this new plan works out. I hope you guys have a plan for your next week. So if you don't know what kind of actions you should be taking for the next week, then you need to figure it out so you can get your projects and goals and just get everything done. Get your stuff done. Anyway. Um, I really, really, really appreciate you watching my videos. I know you can do other things with your times. So I hope you learned something or at least had a good time because I had a good time shooting it. As always, I appreciate you watching my video and thank you. Have a wonderful day.